Glenn Carranza. He is the owner and master pizza maker of Gianni's Pizza, right on the border of Oceanside and Vista. Um, it's on 3910. This is the lady. Yes, Home Depot. Hi, Glenn. Hello. How are you doing today? Doing great. He's just cutting some dough, showing me some uh, behind the scenes action. Um, I have to say, Gianni's is my most favorite pizza place in the entire universe. If you're gluten free, you can just buy pizza for sure. And vegan. Yeah. Oh, and vegan. Yeah. Yes. For sure. So, um, why don't we start today with why, what made you decide to open the business? Okay. Well, I've always been like an entrepreneurial type, and um. I love pizza. I'm originally from New York. Then our family moved to Chicago. And I've always wanted to have a business and, and just spread the love of pizza. And it's such good pizza. <laughs> so um, what kind of drives you to keep you going? Like what motivates you to, to come in early every day and make awesome dough and ciabatta, French ciabatta and everything? Well, I'll tell you what. When you love your job and you love... Um, the whole idea of it, like feeding people good, healthy food, sustainable, whether it's vegan, whether it's gluten free, whether it's just regular pizza, it's just it's a rewarding thing. We talk about feeding people is 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 simple, but really super rewarding. So when you love your job, which I do, um, you come in to work and you just love it. You're listening to music. You're putting the love into the food. And you're making people happy on a daily basis. Pizza makes people happy. So it's kind of easy to say, I don't really work as much as people think I do, even though I work a lot. I'm here and having fun all the time. So therefore, it's not really work. It's just fun doing what I really am passionate about. Well, Glenn, I know what I would say. I love all of your employees are super sweet. And I, your pizza is just incredible quality. But what do most clients say that they like about your business that aren't me? <laughs> well, I think they, they appreciate the quality. Um, we took our crew to Italy a, about a year and a half ago and we took some cooking classes and we learned about the quality of simple yet tasty food. And I think what people really appreciate is how we source our ingredients, whether it's from organic, gluten-free, vegan. It all covers under the basis of like super high quality and they really appreciate it. They really appreciate how we go the extra mile to make the food not only super tasty, but simple and good for you. So I think they really appreciate that. And, and going the extra mile with the service too, being a small business, you, you have to sort of, you know, make sure that everybody's happy and all that. And our crew is just exceptional, good people. And our customers are nice, repetitive customers that appreciate the quality and the service. And um, I just think it's overall the food quality and the, and the actual nutritional value as well. Yeah, everything that, yeah, there's no... It's like clean processed. food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, we call it clean food. It's, it's food that you can eat a whole pizza and because our dough is made, I mean, we use Carlsbad alkaline water. We use uh, organic flour. It's not your average um, dough. So a lot of people that even have gluten um, intolerances could eat our regular dough because it's so clean. So that's the other thing about our food. It's so clean and nutritious and good that you can not feel so guilty eating pizza. I had no idea that you used organic. I just love it. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Orga as, as much as we can, organic, um, as much as we can, everything, fresh produce, you know, fresh dough every day, fresh ciabatta every day, um, every day. You know, we shred our own cheese every day. Um, so it's all, all of that every day. It's a daily fresh kind of thing. Awesome. Yes, yes. That's awesome. I didn't even know that. <laughs> so I think people really appreciate that because you can taste it. You can oh, easily yeah. taste it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. So, um, I mean, it can get monotonous and a lot of work doing that kind of stuff every day and servicing your clientele. Um, how do you motivate your staff and keep them moving? Well, I always say that in my business plan, I said, 
I want to have a good pizza place, but I want to really um, give a great work environment for young people to learn how to become entrepreneurs. And now that we've been in business for so long, I actually have ex-employees that have their own businesses now, oh, wow. which is super cool. And one has a pizza place and another one a dog groomer and they're just excelling so i've always wanted to be able to motivate people to do what i do and of course not everybody's for that but some of them are and it and i motivate them by saying hey listen you're going to learn a lot more here in a small business than you are in a corporate setting because you're you're engaged with the owner you're engaged with the running of a small business and you just learn a little bit more than you would at a bigger place Absolutely. so I motivate them through that through just and also another way that I feel like I motivate them is I, I learned from my dad it's like you gotta sink or swim so I don't coddle too much I just I, I guide them and get them in the right direction but let them learn responsibility and improvement and then you know sort of um, compliment them when they're really doing good and critique them if they make a mistake but it really does motivate them. They like the difference of not being just a number at a company. They, yeah. they love the solid, um, uh, you know, inner workings of learning small business. Yeah. Well, it always feels like everybody working here, friends are related or connected somehow. It, it's just kind of the vibe. It, that yes. You get coming in here. Yes. <laughs> well, it's true. One of the last employees that we've hired. Her dad worked here. It's oh. the first time I've hired someone that's cool. where their dad worked here. They had a kid and now the kid works here. That's cool. So that's, that's how connected cool. it can be. And how long you've been around. Yes, that's yes. Cool. Long time. <laughs> long you. time. Um, so, I mean, obviously to support yourself, but why do you think it's so important that people shop small and shop local? Um, well, I think building a, the, the community that you, that you live in is super important. And I feel like um, if it's a good quality small business, you should. I mean, you every consumer has the choice of where to spend their money. And I feel like, as everyone says, small businesses is like the cornerstone of the economy and you want to keep supporting. And I believe in that with where I go to, to spend my money. And I really appreciate when people take the time to come here and support that. So I think keeping a local community, I know lots of other business owners, we all hang in there together and root for each other. I mean, we buy, uh, like local vegan places buy our vegan pizzas for their staff. You know, so we work together and keep it local to keep the community strong. It's, it's the best way. I, I, I don't know any other way. I, like I said, from New York and Chicago, it's a lot of mom and pops. And you just learn to be, you know, to just uh, patronize the, the, the small, uh, like underdogs that do it well. And when you find that, it's a gem. And uh, hopefully we're one of those gems. <laughs> yeah, yes. I feel I think so too. <laughs> drive two and a half hours to buy pizza from you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, we get that. We love that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, I mean, you're obviously a staple in the community. You've been here a long time, but do you have any plans to grow or anything in the next year? Actually, yes. Um, so, uh, I for a few years I did a pizza consulting thing down in Little Italy for a winery. I don't even know if you know that, no. but um, for the last couple of years, I have been consulting uh, a winery, and I opened up basically an entire pizza section for them in Little Italy. So through that, one of the guys there has decided that he wants to do a mobile uh, pizza uh, pizzeria. Oh. So I, him and I are in the process of partnering together and maybe doing pop-ups or farmers markets or. Brew, local breweries or he also brews beer um, so that's in the works a little bit and also I am very close with a, a vegan couple that do the same sort of thing and they've been wanting to um, branch out and do more so I'm advising them and working with them a little bit awesome. to do something so it, it, our vegan community is super talk about supportive and gluten-free Talk about supportive and super um, uh, wanting to, in, 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 uh, enthusiastic about what we do and how we cater to them. 
is outstanding. So my next venture is like, hmm, I think I'm really into doing either something mobile, which you can bring your pizza anywhere, or vegan, where the, the, the vegans are so appreciative of, of everything that we do. It's just, it's incredible. I absolutely love it. Cool. So it's either gonna be uh, the mobile pizzeria or uh, a possible a, a location that's all vegan um, and gluten-free uh, or both. Can you imagine sitting at the Twisted Horn and Gianni's rolled up and you get to have, that's like, a dream come true for me. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So that's that, that's fun too. It's super fun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Yes, yeah. yes. And we have a lot of connections with all these people because we buy their their stuff. We yeah. sell it here. So and we've done it at like Latitude 33 and things. So we've already done stuff like this on a small scale, but trying to maybe take it to the next level kind of thing. Oh, that's awesome. And we might be building our own pizza oven, do-it-yourself, like a wood-fired pizza oven. Awesome. So that would be very cool, too. Very cool. Yes, yes, yes. So a little bit, little bit going in the future here, yeah. I'm excited. Stay tuned, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> plus more, <laughs> well, plus more and more exciting stuff from Gianni's as well. We, we keep changing and bringing new items. We got a new vegan mac and cheese, which is incredible. Um, and we partner with uh, Nomad uh, Vegan Eats who make their own vegan cheese here, right here in, it's either Vista or San Marcos. Oh, Nomad? Yeah. Oh, I love them. Yeah, me yeah, too. They me the best cheese dip. Yeah, 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 we use that in our mac and cheese. Oh, awesome. Yes, yeah, that's brand new, by the way. Good. Super brand yeah. new. All right, well, do you have any more you wanna add or? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, cut. We, let me ch flip the bread. Oh, gotta flip the bread. Wait, I, I gotta flip the Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Glenn, and answering my questions. I'm so excited about your plans for the future, and everybody stay tuned because it's going to be awesome. I'm Chris Rainwaters, realtor with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, California Properties, uh, chrisrainwaters.com. And what's Gianni's website? It's uh, giannisoside.com. Just go. Google Gianni's Pizza. We're on Instagram. Everything looks good. Yes. Check us Let's out. Follow me, Glenn, and uh, enjoy. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Ciao.